Common beginner mistakes that I used to make as a beginner, day two. So let's pick up a bead today. Look at this bead. It was so awful. All right, so the first type of bead I used to pick up is called the belly flop. I would take my brush and just go straight in with the belly of the brush, and I would get this awful, flat, super dry bead, by the way, that just like does not polymerize ever. It was horrible. Now, the second type of bead that I would pick up, let's call this the frat boy. They, I, I just went in it. I just, you know what I mean, okay? We're not going to elaborate there, but as you can see, the powder is now on both sides of my brush. Everything was just clogged in there. It was horrible. We're never doing that again. Never doing that again. Oh, hell no. So then the third type is what I like to call the nose dive. I would just go straight in 90 degrees, like, or no, sorry, not 90 degrees, 180 degrees, just like that. So now my powder's on both sides of my brush. It was cloggy. It was horrible. The beads don't properly get off of your brush. Terrible idea. All right, and then next I would have the drag queen. I would drag, drag, drag because this is, okay, this is what I saw a lot of educators do for some reason and I would try it and I was just like, it's not giving. My bead was so freaking dry. I was not joking. And then, oh, this is my worst one. This was also called the mini me, which is where I do this like really light tap and I'd get these like tiny, tiny, mini, tiny beads that were like no structure at all. Okay, so instead we're gonna correct this. So the first thing that I need to make sure that you guys are all doing is you're buying a 100% Klinsky brush. Y'all see this brush? This is a number 12 100% Klinsky brush from McCart Pro and she's amazing. I love her, she's a game changer. You're also gonna make sure that you're using a good powder. This powder here is a cover acrylic powder in the color Pink Silk, also from McCart Pro. And here's the correct way to pick up the bead, okay? Follow along. You're gonna do a 30 to 45 degree angle with your brush. Hold down, hold, and one tap, one bounce, okay? The tap is longer than the bounce, and that's it. The powder should be only on one side of your brush. It should also be hanging on for dear life, and there should be quite some structure, okay? If you're not doing this, when you go in to place down your bead, you're going to have a hard time. So as you can see, this is going to be my medium-sized bead for the apex bead. Let's go ahead and push the powder into the middle first. Like, look at how well that polymerized. The powder is now moving, but it's super, super blendable. This is what we want. I'm also going to note here, I always blend from the side. I'm going to make another video about this one day where I talk about how you should blend from the side, not in the middle. Look at that nice, nice structure that we're getting here. This is how your acrylic should look. Then I'm going in with that cuticle. This time we're working with a smaller bead, but same way to pick up your bead, okay? You're just working with less liquid, but same way to pick up your bead. Look at how nice of that structure is. Push your bead into the middle and then use your brush to blend that bead back into the original beads that you had on the nail. As you can see, nice structure, right? But also look at my brush. My brush is clean. We have not cleaned this brush. The only thing we've done is wipe the brush as we're going. That's how you should feel when you're working with the right bead. When I used to do those, whatever I would say I was doing with those beads, my brush was so clogged. Like I would place the bead down. In probably three or four strokes, I, I was done. My brush was clogged. There was like acrylic on the top of the brush. There was acrylic on the underside of the brush. There was also acrylic all jammed up in there. Okay, so I hope this helps.